Let's quickly move on to our next issue of discussion where inflation, they say, is a disease that can only be cured by financial discipline. As Nigerians continue to face tough economic realities, inflation appears to be bent on worsening the situation. And according to the report by the Consumer Price Index by the National Bureau of Statistics, the country's inflation rate rose to 33.69% in April 2024 compared to March 2024 headline inflation rate, which was 33.20%. Now, how the Monetary Policy Committee of the CBN will review the inflation rate is being eagerly awaited. Adewale, let me come to you on this matter. Now, we understand the MPC meeting is scheduled to hold May 20th to 21st, projecting a hike in, a, you know, to combat the inflation. But let me understand, are we on the right path in addressing this concern, if we are to look at this matter holistically? Well, I think in the first place, we need to, there are certain areas that we all need to agree. And that is the fact that Nigerians are passing through very difficult moments economically. And uh, people are being robbed of the, of the basic comforts of life. For instance, you, are, you have electricity, you can't put on your fan, you can't put on your AC, you have uh, your car, you are driving, you cannot put on your AC. If there is a kind of traffic jam, then you have to offer your, your car Thank to you. save uh, mm -hmm. fuel. We are not talking about health. You know, people have lost access to, you know, public health services. If you go to public hospitals now, what it goes do is consult stances. They write, give you a letter to go and buy, you know, the medicine outside the, you know, the, 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 they are not able to provide, provide for you. Housing, you know, the essentials of life are being taken away, you know, um, every day. Nigerians are disempowered. And then if you look at this kind of situation, it's not a very good thing because we keep on hearing the same stories. Okay, you have to make sacrifices and all that. But the people who are telling us to make sacrifices, they are not making any sacrifices. The cost of governance keeps going up. You know, the first thing people get, uh, get when they get to is new cars, new vehicles and all that, you know. And you keep on wondering that how long are you going to make, continue to make sacrifices for a few people who feed on your labor. Mm. So I think... The fact that the, you know, there is increase in uh, inflation has gone up is a reality. And uh, we, are, we shouldn't be surprised because productivity has declined. There is rise in cost of raw materials. There is an um, increase in production cost. You know, people are paying more tax. You know, people, taxes are being imposed on Nigerians. There is hike in fuel. There is um, hike in transportation. So everything is just, you know, uh, going out of hand. So I think um, we must also not, we should be fair enough to analyze issues within the historical context that uh, it's not just something that people are, who just came now, last year, you know, that we have to put every blame on them. You know, these are historical problems that have been going on. Corruption has been quite entrenched. And then the past eight years, I think, very tough for Nigerians, you know, kidnapping, um, you know, invasion of farm, farm people left, they cannot farm any longer. So a lot of factors were responsible for this one we find ourselves today. However, the issue is that what is the solution that the government in power has? That's the question everyone, everyone because those people are no longer there now. So we have to hold the people in power now responsible. So I think in dealing with this problem, it's not just to criticize, we should be able to also offer meaningful yeah. suggestions. Yeah. For me, I think we are in the rainy season now. I think the government should have short term, medium plan, and then long term. If factories are leaving Nigeria, what are we doing to replace them? Because if when factories are leaving your country, it's a disadvantage. You can also return it an advantage mm. because you can inherit their you know assets and then rebuild those factories. Are we engaging those that are leaving the country to ensure we can create an alternative? It can also be an alternative for local manufacturers. If foreign companies are leaving, local manufacturers, if they have the right incentives, they can replace those companies that are leaving the country. So is there a synergy between the manufacturing sector and the Ministry of Finance? Or we just wait and read all the people and then we don't create a system where we can engage them? Are we encouraging Nigerians to patronize locally made products? 
Nigerian leaders, are they buying locally made vehicles? Are they buying locally made shoes? Are they engaging shoe manufacturers? Tesla industry used to be one of their mainstay in this country. What are we doing to bring back the Cardona Tesla, the Osho the Tesla? What are the creative pro programs that we have? In terms of agriculture, we still import rice. And most of these rice that we even import are, you know, uh, they are expired, you know, maybe some six months, or seven months. So of the funds we have spent on Anchor Bora, what happened to them? So I think government should sit down and think creatively. I know just about federal government alone. State governments, local governments, we need to go into agriculture because I believe that if we can seize that initiative of local governments, state governments investing in agriculture, in the next four, six, four, five months, you'll be able to see the, 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 you know, the result. Tomatoes in three, four months, uh, vegetables in a few months, maize. So if you can put a lot of money into agriculture, I believe that you know, it's going to make a lot of impact in terms of change changing the current dynamics. Mm. We gave two, two billion to states for palliatives. But when you give them this money, you buy food for them, after one week, it's gone. If, what if we had invested some funds in agriculture? This happened last year, I think early this year. Six months, gone. If I put this money into grain, maybe we'll have been able to, you know, talk about reaping, you know, the, 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 I mean, harvesting some uh, agricultural products. So I think we need to be more creative because the greatest source of wealth is ability to think creatively, yeah, you, know. you know. So I, I think we need to go into agriculture. We should put all our energy into agriculture. If people can feed breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I think you will discover that people will, you know, not bother much about what, whether the government, you know, mm. spins up their demands. Yeah, well said. I totally would agree with you on that perspective. But, you know, Alabisi, with what he said so far, homegrown solutions is the way to go if we're to talk about moving away from our current position right now. But what other options do you think we haven't explored now in dealing with this financial challenge? Even though the, the, the CBN is trying to do its best in terms of the, um, the, policy, the monetary policy rate and all of that to tackle inflation, what else do you think they, aren't, you know, they haven't considered in terms of handling the rising rate of inflation? Well, I think uh, the people has been removed from the whatever policy that we are getting now. And uh, that is the main problem, the, the main gap that I'm seeing. For the record, this is the 11th consecutive rise in inflation rate in the last one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we saw this month is the fourth highest inflation rate recorded in Nigeria since the first quarter of 1996. That is according to the MBS um, report. Mm. Now, um, we have succeeded in expanding our tax next, for example, which even the Accountant General of the Federation told us now has increased the revenue from tax she even said that tax is now the highest revenue generation for the country. That shows you how much has gone into taxing Nigerians. And um, yes, these are policies that could increase revenue for the government, but there are also policies that, are, that keep on reducing the purchasing power mm. of the People, yeah, and that is why we are seeing inflation. Because what is the, what is the first sign of inflation? For example, or the first negative or one of the negative effects of inflation, reduction in purchasing power of the people, and we have seen that because people don't have money, their purchasing power has gone down, and also. Uh, businesses, production, productivity also reduces when you continue to have high level of inflation. Mm -hmm. So if these are the, some, some of the negatives of inflation, then we need to look at them and see how we can work around them to probably, for example, in the area of product, production now, I think we need a policy now that we boost production activities. Remember, when there is 
But let's not forget our infrastructure. We have infrastructure deficits. So how can we boost our production if we have that in mind as well? Yeah, exactly. And these are the problems. Because even in tackling the problem of infrastructural deficiency, we are still talking about some taxes. Mm -hmm. For example, the electricity uh, tariff. tariff that increased recently. That is bringing in money in one way, but also in doing productivity in another way. Mm. So maybe we are, we are going to be looking at uh, reduction in, uh, maybe we are looking at uh, some kinds of subsidy okay. for production, for people in production. Remember that even Britain, in the height of the Ukraine-Russia war, actually introduced some form of subsidy, energy subsidy, yeah. at that time, for people to be able to cope. So we can look at that area and do, I don't know how that calculation can be done, but I think we need to boost production right now. We need whatever we can do to extend or to expand our productivity, we need to do it. And in, in the area of people, I think we need to also work towards uh, boosting the purchasing power of people. For me, I would advise governments to stop any further taxation policy on Nigerians for now, because it's really killing people. It's killing them. I think the popular saying that let something breathe, let something breathe. I think now we need to talk about let the poor breathe in Nigeria now. Mm. Yeah, because we cannot be looking at what expanding the tax net, what we are gaining from it alone. We also need to look at what the implication. Because if we don't expand the rates at which people can do business, Ordinarily, that is what we should be doing. That is what those in government should be doing. Right. You expand the ability of people to earn more money. Then they now pay tax from what they earn. Mm -hmm. But right now, people are not earning, but they are paying more. So they need to do... Yes, re strategize to ensure that this thing balances. Right. That way, well, things could be better. Well, let's quickly go on a very quick break. We have more discussions coming your way in just a moment. Just stay with us. <laughs>